Sneed, what have you seen different about their offense with their freshman quarterback in play? Well, uh, the other guys, uh, they're all pretty good. They, they, what they do is they do a lot of RPOs, uh, road pass offense. Uh, when they tie runs uh, to the passes. He's got a quick release to be able to do that. Uh, and what I see is they, they want to run the ball. Uh, they want to run the ball and they want to get in third and manageables uh, and let him uh, be able to manage the game and let his ability take over. I hadn't seen much drop off. They're scoring points. Uh, and I thought he played you know, real well last week. They brought the other kid in uh, and played a series, but they seem to move the ball a little bit better with Snead in there. So I see a guy that's, the offense is functioning well with it, but he's in there and he can do a lot of things. The way that you handled Myers on the second half, does that give you confidence that you can kind of keep this kid in check? Well, I, you know, it, they, they always, those types of offenses always push stress on you uh, because you got to fit the runs and then you got to be able to, you know, play the, play the pass and play it with tight coverage. And then a lot of times it's just, you know, redirect her to cover it down and, and make it tackles and not giving up the huge play. And they've had some, you know, huge play. I think they're one of the only teams that's had a 90 plus yard play in the league is, uh, is UNLV. But uh, you know, I think you keep everything in front of you, you tackle, and you make those guys execute. You don't give up big plays, and then, you know, a ball gets tipped. Or, you know, you get them in second and long, and, you know, get them in third and long where the RPOs don't work. What kind of years Kevin Davis had, had and what does he mean to this team? Uh, he's had an outstanding year. Uh, he's been consistent every every single week. He's been consistent in his in his practice, uh, and he means his team. It, to me, he he shows what it's how you're supposed to practice, how you're supposed to play, with a level of consistency every day. He comes out, and does his job. He takes coaching. He's become more physical. Uh, and he's what we want. Uh, uh, what are things you've been able to do in practice this week to address the third down issues on both sides of the ball? Well, we do. We did third. We do third. We do <laughs> extra third downs, and we do ones on ones and ones on twos today, uh, more than we've done in the past. Uh, and you know, we talk about the execution and understanding. We've we've studied more third downs uh, offensively and defensively. You know, trying to get a better understanding of what try, people are trying to do. Uh, trying to, this is how we're going to attack it and limit our package a little bit, you know, so that we don't have so many options in third down. We're going to run these plays and this answer for this, it's an answer for that, it's an answer for that, and hope our guys understand it, now they can go play.